so good morning students um uh, we had stopped where ralph spencer is flourishing in the chapter called a retrieved reformation uh, so please take page number 13 of your english to literature book hope all of you are fine have you read the chapter have you read the lesson up to what i have taught or have you read the whole thing are you still in suspense what is going to be end of the story okay if you are in suspense let us move on with the story from where ralph uh, has begun a new life isn't it more than a year now he is in elmore he has developed a beautiful community around him he is a very sociable man he has got a uh, family he has got a fiancee annabel and then he has also flourished in his newly found job that is a uh, shoe shop and so he has turned himself with a new identity ralph d spencer no more jimmy valentine now in this uh, coming uh, uh, the next lines shows how he wanted to get rid of even the tools uh, that he was using for uh cracking the safe so he uh, you remember he carried that suitcase when he went to elmore it was with him he had no any plan until he reached elmore and met annabel to stop doing the burglary but it is only after he looked into the eyes of annabel a reformation took place in him a kind of change took place in him now let us see what happens with him okay now take page number 13 all of you should have your textbook in front of you shall we begin are you ready okay okay uh, so come along with me one day jimmy sat down in his room and wrote this letter which he mailed to the safe address of one of his old friends in st louis so he wrote a letter to his old friends who were his old friends who were partners of his safe cracking okay his old job that is burglary now what is the letter the content of the letter is dear old pal pal means friend be at sullivan's place in little rock next wednesday night at 9 o'clock i want to make you a present of my kit of tools billy i've quit the old business a year ago it's the only life the straight one be sure to be at salis for i must see you i'll bring along the tools with me your old friend jimmy very concise beautiful message first of all he said be in sullivan's little rock so his old friends are in little rock that do he has given the date next wednesday night at 9 o'clock why these things he doesn't want to expose himself to the world outside so he decided to hand over his tool box at night in little rock i want to make you a present of my kit of tools that kit of tools was part of his life for a long time to flourish in his business but now he want to part it with he want to completely get away from his past life so he want to gift this kit to his old friend who is still continuing the same business i have quit i have quit the old business a year ago so from this we come to know it's almost an year it's the only life the straight one now i live a peaceful a straight forward life a sincere and a, a genuine life be sure to be at sellis for i must to see you i'll bring along the tools with me so uh, he has um, exchanged to his message to his friend now what happens okay here the man decides to completely be a transformed man now what happens to his surrounding there was somebody who was after him to arrest him for the burglaries that he had done a series of burglary that took place soon after he was sent out from the prison now what happens there appears a villain who is the villain he is not villain okay okay but for jimmy he is the villain at present 
Soon, when Price arrived unobtrusively in Elmore, he launched about town in his quiet way until he found out what he wanted to know. What was he wanting to know? He wanted to know where Jimmy Valentine is and he wanted to arrest him and put him back to the prison. Going to marry the banker's daughter, are you, Jimmy? said Ben to himself softly. Well, I don't know. So this is called the soliloquy children. Soliloquy means a person is speaking to himself. Here Ben Price is speaking to himself. And from that speech we come to know Ben Price has already sketched out the whereabouts of Jimmy Wallenden. He knew that he, he has settled himself in Elmore. He has an affair with Annabelle and he is planning to marry her. And then he has a new identity. So, poor boy, isn't it? Okay. So, um, we come to know Jimmy wanted to be a new person. And here Ben Price comes and uh, comes as a rival. Okay. Uh, let us see what happens. The next morning, quite a family party went downtown together. Who is this family, children? The family is of Annabel, okay, Mr. Adams, Annabel, Jimmy, and Annabel's married sister with her two little girls aged five and nine. They came by the hotel where Jimmy still boarded. So first they came to Jimmy's place where Jimmy, uh, Jimmy was residing, okay, boarded means where he stayed. He ran up to his room. Who is that? Who ran up to his room? Jimmy went to his room and brought along his suitcase. So he has his plan. From the letter we know that he has to go to uh, Little Rock and he will meet his friend at Sullivan's place at 9 o'clock. So he has to be ready with. So after the um, family party, he has decided to move to Little Rock. So he went to his hotel, carried his suitcase. Jimmy was going to Little Rock to return some goods. So the family do not know what the what the suitcase what the con what contains in it okay only he knows so he uh, they are also sure uh, jimmy is going to little rock then they went on to the bank so the whole family who are there in the fa uh, in the group mr adams annabel jimmy annabel's uh, uh, sister who you got uh, who has married and the two nieces me and agatha now what happens in the bank? Why Adams arranged to this party? Okay, we'll come to know in what honor that he has arranged a family party. The Elmore Bank had just put in a new safe and vault. Mr. Adams was very proud of it and explained its workings to Mr. Spencer, who showed a courteous but not too intelligent interest. The two children, May and Agatha, were delighted by the shining metal and funny cloak and knobs. And now notice here in this, why, um, why, the, uh, why the family has gathered? Because Mr. Adam is so, uh, Adams has placed a new safe and vault in his bank and he wanted to show his new newly introduced thing to his family. And now he wanted to explain all about the safe and the vault to Mr. Spencer. Will Spencer have any kind of interest in it? For sure, certainly he will not have any special interest because he had been cracking this kind of safe and vault in many of the banks because of his past life. Okay, he is old burglary. So he has actually no interest in seeing this but he was so courteous towards his towards his father-in-law okay so uh, he showed his regard and respect to mr adam and adams and listened to him not because he had some any interest in it but because of his respect towards his um, father he paid lots of respect and regard to it now children were so excited isn't it for them it's for the first time they see this shining lock room Okay, and then so they found so funny about the knobs and the clock 
uh, with which it wounds and then um, locks it so everything around the safe and vault was something uh, very interesting for the little children now who comes again ben price sauntered sauntered means walked in slow motion in a relaxed way and uh, uh, leaned on his elbow looking casually inside so who is also there in elmore bank our mr ben price is there already in the bank he told the teller that he didn't want anything he was just waiting for a man he knew so he said to the pun teller means the clerk the pun okay the bank clerk so he told him he didn't want anything but he is looking for a man he knew so he is waiting for the man to come out suddenly there was a scream from the women and a commotion unperceived by the elders me the 9 year old girl in a spirit of play had shut agada in the vault now what happened children all of a sudden everyone is in a uh, excited mood a mood seeing the new thing that has been introduced in their bank now there was a scream by the women who must have screamed either annabol or or annabel's sister what happened there was a great commotion so everybody noticed something else has happened there what has happened unperceived means unnoticed by the elders these two young children who were of 5 and 9 uh, years old they were playing around may the 9 year old the elder one in a spirit of play they were playing and in that spirit of play locked agada inside the vault the old banker who is the old banker mr adams sprang to the handle so he rushed to the handle and tugged at it for a moment he started pulling the handle of the vault and he knew it wouldn't open because they have not the door can't be opened he groaned he shouted telling it cannot be opened the clock hasn't been wound nor the combination set why the door cannot be opened because it's the new one and he has not wounded the clock the clock hasn't been wound nor the combination set he has not set the uh, the number plate he has not set the combination has not been set Agada's mother screamed again hysterically so she lost all her hope she knew that something wrong is going to happen with her daughter so she screamed hysterically means with great emotion with an uncontrollable emotion she started screaming there isn't a man near than little rock who can open that door who said this mr adam said there is no man near close by who can open the door only somebody can be found in little rock my god spencer what shall we do so he has only another consolation is the only man spencer so he asked spencer what can we do she can't stand it long in there there isn't enough air and besides she'll go into convulsion from fright out of fear the girl might go into convulsion okay convulsion means a kind of um, intense uh, muscle contraction okay so she, he says there is no air inside and besides out of fear the little poor girl she is so 5 years old she might go into convulsions agada's mother frantic now she became extremely worried beat the door of the vault with her hands she started beating on the vault somebody wildly suggested dynamite annabel turned to jimmy her large eyes full of anguish but not yet despairing to a woman nothing seems quite impossible to the powers of the man she worships now what is happening with annabel she turned her eyes to mr spencer for a woman whom ever she adores the man she adores is always full of passion they always think they are the man whom she worship adores is capable of anything so she turned to spencer she turned to spencer can't you do something ralph try won't you so she encouraged ralph telling can't you do something he looked at her with a queer soft smile on his lips and in his keen eyes why was it a queer soft smile a strange smile because he knew he can 
but he is not sure why annabel turned to him but at the same time he had a kind of inclination in him that he should do something because the woman asked him is yes beloved he looked at her with a queer soft smile on his lips and in his keen eyes annabel he said give me that dress you are wearing will you she unpinned the bud and placed it in his hand jimmy stuffed it into his vest pocket threw off his coat and pulled up his short sleeves with that act ralph d spencer passed away and jimmy volunteer took his place see children here uh, the expression of taking the rose from the uh, hands of annabel and putting into his wallet is an expression that he knew that he is no more going to be ralph d spencer their relationship is going to end there okay the rose that she has kept for him is no more going to be his so he took it beforehand he knew after this act he is no more going to be ralph d spencer he is going to be back to jimmy valentine and jimmy valentine is nobody for annabel that is why he takes away the the rose bud from the hands of annabel get away from the door all of you he commanded shortly he set his suitcase on the table and opened it out flat from that time on he seemed to be unconscious of the presence of anyone else he laid out the shining qr implements qr implements here is the the tools he usually use for the opening of safe whistling softly to himself as he always did when at work in deep silence and immovable the others watched him as if under a spell and all his family members mr adams annabel his sister everybody watched him silently because he is a different man now it is not ralph d spencer but who is at work children it is that old william old will uh, old jimmy valentine and he also came back to him so his old self he is unbothered about anyone around him he started his work he opened his suitcase and took out the implements isn't it the tools with which he used to open the safe the vault in a minute jimmy's pet drill what is that pet drill that was his life isn't it the drilling mission was his life now he took out that drill mission the drill machine was biting smoothly into the steel door it started working okay it started working on the steel door in 10 minutes breaking his own but glorious record so he used to take more than 10 minutes here he took in a short time he could open the vault he threw back the bolts and opened the door now the vault is opened spencer could do something very great at this moment agada almost to collapsed but safe was gathered into her mother's arms now poor little girl okay just 5 year old you know uh, how much they must be frightened okay but for sure agada was safe and he she was taken by her mother jimmy valentine and then it was ralph isn't it the story turns back to the old self jimmy valentine jimmy valentine put on his coat and walked towards the front door now he knew he can never be part of that family so he wanted to move away from the family so he walked towards the front door of the bank as he went he thought he heard a far away voice he once knew call ralph but he never hesitated who must have called him ralph children yes it is ralph it is annabel okay so annabel called him back but he never hesitated he did not turn back he knew that he is no more ralph d spencer he is jimmy valentine once again back to his old self he doesn't want to continue there at the door a big man stood somewhat in his way who is this big man children can you imagine yes it is ben price 
you are very right okay it is ben price he was standing near the front door hello ben said jimmy so jimmy did not um in a very casual way he wished him hello ben said jimmy still with his strange smile okay the same strange smile is with him so he smiled at him got around at last have you so you have got around me so you found me well let's go let's go meaning i surrender myself you type you can take me back to the prison i surrender i don't know that it makes much difference now so he says i am sure it makes no difference than staying here it is better for me to be back to the prison so he says i surrender you can take me you can take me to the prison gus here is the beautiful line children listen gus you are mistaken mr spencer who says this ben price okay seeing all these things ben price wanted to give him back the new self so he calls him gus you are mistaken you are mistaken mr spencer he doesn't call him valentine but he calls him mr spencer don't believe i recognize you this is the beauty of the story this is the turning point of the story where you can call the title a retrieved reformation first reformation was when annabel looked into the eyes of mr valentine he becomes ralph d spencer now the second reformation takes place when ben price give him back the new identity he is again back to the new identity with which he wanted to live a new life and this is how the uh, title becomes very apt a retrieved reformation okay he knew once ben price recognize him he has no other option than be back to the prison as jimmy valentine but here ben price give him back that identity he saw all what happened the genuine love that uh, spencer had for the family how he risked his own life in order to save the little child and he realized he has become a very human being his deeds are meant for the salvation of the other for the good of the other for the good of the society now this good man should not be in the prison a person who is of a, a big hearted man cannot be put in the jail we cannot confine a good person in the jail and so the detective ben price he himself surrenders ben price turned and strolled down the street and ben price having found a good man he did he went back his mission was also complete isn't it so uh, the story has a beautiful happy ending until the last line we think it's going to be tragic but what happens this is how o henry writes his play so he keeps his readers in suspense until the last moment and he gives so beautiful warm characters and there is a word play in all what he does isn't it and very clever ending very clever ending with lots of suspense so uh, this is what the story is all about hope you understood students read the lesson at least once twice looking into the new vocabularies of a day find out the meaning of it yourself once again write it write them down in your copy and then try yourself with the reference to context question answers and whatever follows in your exercise okay uh, for today good luck god bless you continue with your studies may god bless you students